Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over nested lists. And you can do a nested list with either an unordered list or an ordered list, or technically, technically you can do a combination of the two. So let's go ahead and check this out so we're really clear on what a nested list is, so when you do need it, you know how to create one. Um, I'm here on a blank web page. I'll go ahead and create a standard unordered list. And I'll be, actually, let me start off with an ordered list. I think that'll help illustrate this a little bit better. Say I'm doing an outline or something. And my ordered list is going to have multiple list items. I'll have uh, list item 1, and I'll just go ahead and duplicate that line. Do 2, 3, and 4. So I have what is a pretty typical ordered list. If I check this out on my browser, make sure I save first there we go so it's defaulting to uh, Arabic numerals the uh, list style type decimal and that's a pretty straightforward thing to create with a set of ordered list tags and then any number of sets of list item tags now let's suppose I want to break down several of these items a little deeper okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my list item one and what I'm specifically gonna do is put my insertion point at the end of the text for list item one but notice I'm before the closing list item tag so I'm within my first list item and I'll go ahead and press my enter key a few times to give myself room to work and within this new space I'm gonna create a brand new ordered list and within this let's go ahead and get my spacing here so it really stands out to you there we go so this new ordered list is completely within my first list item and then I'll create standard list item in here and this will be sub item 1-1 one one, and then I'll just duplicate this a few times 1 2 1 3 excellent so let's control save check this on the browser and you'll see that I now have a list within item 1 by default it's not too bad but I'd like to clean this up with a little bit of list style type in CSS so it's a little bit more organized as an outline I'd like to do Roman numerals for the parent list, and then I'll do uh, alphabet letters for the uh, sub list, so to speak. So let's head back over here. I'm going to jump up to my style sheet, and I'm going to say that my ordered list list items. Now this is a descendant selector. I'm manipulating list items that are within my ordered list. I'm not just doing list items as my selector because I don't want to confuse this with list items that might be for an unordered list somewhere else. And I'm going to do list style type upper Roman. Okay, now that's going to take care of that. However, you're going to notice something we'll have to fix. See, even my sub list has the Roman numerals and I don't want that. So I'll head back over to my list. I'm sorry, over to my web page, styles, and I'm going to create a new selector here. There we go. So now we've got list items that are a descendant of list items that are a descendant of ordered lists. And for that, I'm going to put in list style type upper alpha. And with this with this combination of CSS rules, I'm now going to get an outline format where I have Roman numerals for the parent list and then I have um, alpha alphabets uppercase for my sub menu there we go and using this exact same technique we could carry it on even further for instance I could go to my sub item 3 notice my once again my insertion point is within the list item for sub item 3 I'm gonna press my enter key a few times and I'm gonna create another ordered list right inside of this list item and in here I will create if I can type here list item and I'll do sub item 131 one. and I'm going to duplicate that so I have 132 and 133 three. and we should expect this to work just fine there we go however once again it's not doing the kinds of numbering that I want I want to do lower Roman this time so I'll go back to my styles and very similar to before you can probably predict what I'm gonna write here ordered list 
list item, space, list item, space, list item. So now we have a different situation. Lower. And let's see, I'm going to do lower Roman on this one. List items that are within list items that are within list items that are within my ordered list. So this is multiple levels of descendant selectors. Go ahead and save that and you'll see that I now have lower Roman numerals for this third level list. Okay, so it can get tricky and this is not something you will use all the time, but it's really not that tough as long as you keep focused on where is this new ordered list. Make sure the sublist is completely contained within the list item of its parent. And then use your style sheets to set the type of numbering that you would like. Have fun.